This is uh, our nap and that adaptive and enabling uh, demonstration garden here at the UT Garden. And as you can see, we have a variety of different raised beds. And if you look, there's different heights for each one. Uh, and so what this is, is kind of just to give people some ideas and examples. If someone has mobility impairments or uh, ha uses a wheelchair, um, this helps show them maybe some beds that might work for their needs. And uh, we've worked with several different individuals who uh, use wheelchairs and had them come and kind of look at these beds and, and ex kind of dig a little in them and give us their feedback. And one of the things that we, we found was that um, each bed is going to work different for somebody that's different. And so as, as a gardener or as someone planting gardens, you want to think about who is your client and what are their needs. Uh, you know, a young child in a wheelchair can get access to this side very easily versus an adult where they would probably have to use the other side of the beds. Um, and uh, we have some other beds a little further back that have, are a couple feet off the ground, which may be very useful for an older person or someone who has, um, has some back or joint issues and isn't able to get down on their knees, that they may be able to sit down on the edge and garden from the edge. Uh, and so some other issues with these type of beds are that obviously the, there's about six to 12 inches of soil. And so watering is gonna always be an issue, trying to keep them moist enough and wet enough to keep the plants growing. And that's always some of the problems that we have to deal with. But we also wanna educate so people can look at and see what are, what are things that they need to think about when they're planting a garden. For, for a facility or for their own use.